Good morning. So, I'm in Free Soil, Michigan today. I'm working on a friend's Case 580 Super E Construction King. I had an extremely frustrating time getting this off yesterday. I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd maybe need a crow's foot to reach in and get this this hose out but it seems that won't be necessary we were able to open up the steering column a little bit and reach down through there so we'll see how this install goes got my hands all masked off and it's the ground is pretty frozen but i'm just dragging the hoses around putting them through some dirty dirty openings and clamps just gonna keep that those ends clean make sure the fluid stays clean so we've got that on there and it's it's turning but we can only get like 1 16th turns on it so wrenching from the bottom and then the top and then the bottom and then the top one thing that we found is helpful is to put the wrench on it and then pound it so with a hammer you can actually drive the wrench onto and thus turning it just a little bit more when it's when it's still relatively loose but just past finger tight so so here's the into the cab view. We don't have much room still, but it's a little bit better. We can reach down there and hand tighten it to begin with and then get a wrench on it to finally snug it up. You don't have to take this apart. We ended up pulling this whole rod out. Thought we could move these out. It actually didn't give us any more room. The best bet is to just pull these cotter pins and move whatever lever out of the way you need at the bottom to access any of those valve fittings. So we've got that on there and it's it's turning but we can only get like 1 16th turns on it so wrenching from the bottom and then the top and then the bottom and then the top. One thing that we found is helpful is to put the wrench on it and then pound it. So with a hammer you can actually drive the wrench onto and thus turning it just a little bit more when it's when it's still relatively loose but just past finger tight so for now um so i'm gonna place my lever in there fire it up and see if this if this leaks if that doesn't leak i don't think we can go any farther so that's what we'll have to leave that tightness at but it's pretty tight levers connected Still gotta fold those, those cotter pins down. Might replace some of those, not sure yet. Um, so I got all those cotter pins in attached. All my letters, levers work. Um, these levers, I put them close to each other, as close as possible with, with the ball off or relatively centered to the hole if the ball is still on. Um, and then I'm gonna throw on this, this plate. Um, when installing the hose, you're gonna wanna re leave it straight out so that you can properly turn the hose while installing it. Otherwise, you'll run into torsion problems. And we're gonna feed the hose. Down through everything. Make sure your hose is routed properly. A misrouted hose is extremely likely to get unnecessary wear and tear and possibly break. Finally got the hose up and through. My tape is still intact, so that's a good thing. It means my hose is clean. We'll have clean threads. And a clean interior on the pipe. Throughout the process, make sure to stay hydrated. I typically drink monsters, but I've been trying these rain recently. I hear they're made by the original founders of the Monster Energy Company, and they taste pretty good. The lemon HDZ is really good. 
and also the sour apple, probably my two favorites. attach this first and then attach all the clamps so hopefully that way we can get the torsion right hopefully we can reduce wear here the less pressure we can put on any moving parts the better this hose the last one wore out simply because it was rubbing on this for a long time extremely hard because of the torsion that was left in this rather than if we can if I can twist this line may be able to counteract that a little bit so I'm tightening this end fitting um, it was a little bit hard to get started I found that, that I had frozen water and dirt up behind this collar so I had to pound that out and clean that out so when I got that done um, I had to prop this feed line and the fitting away from away from the hydraulic cylinder so that I could actually get them squared up to each other so got them started now there goes that and we're snug. We get this tightened up and report back. Okay, so we're all tightened up. Um, I don't have the, the mounts attached yet. I'm gonna attach those later and clean up all the, the trim panels and stuff inside. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this up and see if she leaks. Backhoe won't start, so I can't test if the hose has any leaks or those fittings are tight enough right now. So I'm gonna have to do that later after I start this beast. Um, so for now, I'm gonna go with I hope it's tight enough, and I'm pretty confident it is. Okay, so full disclaimer, everyone, I am not an expert. Uh, I wanted to make this video just because I couldn't find anything extremely informative on how to do it myself. So. After I got this out and figured out what I needed to do, I thought, you know, maybe, why not make a video about it? Hopefully, this advice helps someone. Um, also, if you can point me in the direction of any any informative um, videos on this 580, I, I would love that. If you guys can comment that down below. Um, subscribe if you want to see more updates. Okay, guys, so I got this machine running. So we're going to test these hydraulics, hopefully. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one.